MagSafe, Qi2. Both of these deliver 15 watts of magnetic wireless power to your iPhone. But what's the difference? And which one should you actually buy? Welcome everybody. Welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. It was back in January of 2023 that Qi2 was officially announced at CES. But it's only now, in early 2024, that the very first Qi2 chargers are actually becoming available for sale. But what is the difference between a Qi2 charger and a MagSafe charger? That's what I'm going to break down in this video, and I'll help you decide at what's better for you, Qi2 or MagSafe. There's a lot to talk about, so let's go ahead and get into it. Qi2 is the evolution of Qi wireless charging, and it's put out by the Wireless Power Consortium, which is made up of over 300 different companies, including counting Samsung and Apple among its members. Building off of Qi, Qi2 is more efficient, it is faster, and has improved communication between your phone and the charger itself. Qi, while a great open standard, was used across the board, but the problem was it had a big issue with alignment. If your phone was not perfectly center on the charger, you could see a drastic cutoff in charging speed. And a bigger problem was that users had no idea on this. You had no idea if your phone was perfectly aligned and at what speed you were actually charging your phone. You could place your phone there expecting to have a full charge in an hour, only to come back and realize your phone's still sitting at 20% because you were three quarters of an inch off center and it just charged at a very slow pace. For iPhone users specifically, another upgrade that we see with Qi 2 is moving from seven and a half watts of max charging speed all the way up to 15 watts. This is a big upgrade here, double the charging speed and the same speed that we see with MagSafe. Speaking of MagSafe, MagSafe was created by Apple as an improvement to the Qi wireless charging standard. It was included in the iPhone 12 originally, but has subsequently been included in the iPhone 13, the iPhone 14, and the iPhone 15. And you can bet it'll be included in the iPhone 16 as well. And as I said before, MagSafe can deliver up to 15 watts of wireless power to your iPhone. So that begs the question, what's the difference between MagSafe developed by Apple and Qi2 developed by the Wireless Power Consortium? At their core, MagSafe and Qi2 are very similar. Both use a ring of magnets to properly align your phone and deliver up to 15 watts of wireless power. One difference is that MagSafe includes an NFC chip baked into the charger and into the phone. This small communication chip gives your phone a memory of that charger. When you do something like place your phone in standby mode, it'll remember what charger it was last attached to. And when you place it there again, it'll bring up the same clock or widgets when you return. This can give you default standby setups for each location in your home that has a different charger. For example, maybe here in the studio, I use a MagSafe charger. And every time I put my phone into standby mode, I want it to pull up maybe my calendar appointments for the day, as well as an overview of the month, two different widgets. But if I place my phone on the MagSafe charger in the kitchen, I want it to display my timer widgets as well as some recommended photos. And then when I place my iPhone on my MagSafe charger by my bedside, I want it to display the clock so I can see what time it is and when I have my alarm set for the morning. To be clear, standby mode works with Qi 2 chargers. It just doesn't remember which charger and what widget you had last displayed. So if you put your phone onto a Qi 2 charger and pull up your photo gallery, you take it off, do some things, you bring it back, it's not going to bring up your photo gallery again, it's just going to go to your default widget view. You'll just have to switch back to whatever view or widgets that you had pulled up last. For most, this is not going to be a big difference and they're probably not going to consider it when picking out a new charger. Another difference is when a manufacturer is making a MagSafe charger, they actually have to buy their components from Apple. And Apple has additional requirements for that charger, including both for the certification and the design. That's why up until recently, every single MagSafe charger you've seen has had this stark white puck. 
It was only until recently that Apple allowed different surface finish options. That's why we're seeing things like the new Anchor and the new Belkin chargers apply a different color or material to the outside of those MagSafe pucks. The Qi 2 standard has no such issues on that outer surface and you should see more varied surfaces between leather, silicone, plastic, all sorts of things coming right away to Qi 2 chargers. Aside from the mandated design changes, there's also the certification process. All MagSafe chargers must be certified through Apple, and the manufacturers have to be part of Apple's MFI, or Made for iPhone program, to be able to create them and sell them with that badge and logo in the first place. Qi 2 chargers, on the other hand, are certified by the WPC, and this means that they're going to get much lower fees. There's a lower fee for the actual certification process and no requirements to buy the components through WPC. That's why, as a generality, we're going to see higher prices on actual MagSafe chargers versus those that are Qi 2. Even though they have very similar specs, that certification process and the process of sourcing the parts definitely comes into play when getting that final price. So which devices support MagSafe and which ones support Qi 2? Well, MagSafe is supported on a range of iPhones, including the entire iPhone 12 series, iPhone 13 series, iPhone 14 series, and the latest iPhone 15 series. Technically, the wireless charging is supported on Android devices, but there are no Android devices that support the MagSafe Ring of Magnets, unless you add a special case or these like little sticky on magnets that you can purchase in the aftermarket to actually get that magnetic alignment. Qi 2, on the other hand, is supported on iPhone 13 models, iPhone 14 models, and iPhone 15 models. The wireless charging and magnetic alignment is supported on iPhone 12, but it'll only get 7.5 watts of power, which is half what the standard is capable of. Android devices are also able to support Qi 2, though none have chosen to do so yet. So what should you buy? Should you buy one of the many MagSafe chargers, or should you buy one of the new Qi 2 chargers? Honestly, in the end, the differences between MagSafe and Qi 2 are nominal. Yes, Apple has that extra certification process for MagSafe, and MagSafe has the NFC chip. Because of Apple's involvement on the charging component side and the phone side, we will see a very slight improvement in charging performance when using MagSafe, but in the end, again, it's going to be negligible. Qi 2, on the other hand, has less stringent requirements, so we're likely going to see less expensive, yet similarly capable products. Right now, there are far more MagSafe devices on the market than Qi 2, but this is quickly changing. At CES 2024, we saw announcements of dozens of new Qi chargers coming to market. I do have a few of the initial supply of Qi 2 chargers that are coming out. There's the Nomad Stand, there's a couple from Anchor, both a battery pack and a 3-in-1 travel charger. There's one from Aki that is also a 3-in-1 design, and I have a couple car chargers including one from ESR and one from iAudi. There's going to be more and more hitting the market very soon though. What I'm saying is, if your phone supports G2, just get a G2 charger. You're going to be just fine with that charger, though you might have to wait a little bit for the one you want to finally start shipping. Otherwise, if you need to get one now, pick up a MagSafe one. There's a lot more available, though the prices might be a little bit higher than if you waited for some of the G2 models to arrive. Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to go all out for MagSafe or are you going to go with G2? Let me know down below in the comments, over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU, over on threads at AndrewHera941, and there's links for many of these chargers down below in the description. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video.